Other news over the weekend was this uh, this this Hudson River. See, this is why everyone got excited about Sully, and and now see, this was supposed to happen with the Sully thing. We were supposed to have yeah. death and destruction. That's just gonna and be we got it over the weekend. People dying in the Hudson. Well, now we forget about the cool uh, miracle on the Hudson, and now yeah. we get the nine dead. We get the nine, nine dead. The the, dead. The, the the plane and the helicopter colliding over the Hudson River. What day was that? Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, yeah. I guess, right? I don't know. I didn't catch all of uh, Iraq's 8,000 Twitters about it. Like, he was the reporter on he, the scene. He became a reporter on the scene, and then oh, he disappointed. He there? Yeah, but then he disappointed everybody. Why? Because that's he, what he does. Because his t- tweets sucked. <laughs> yeah. They're pulling. He, he tweets at one point, this is a picture of uh, dead bodies. This is the best I could do. So I'm like, fuck, I'll click on dead bodies, right? I click on it. And it's two boats in the middle of the Hudson, and they're pulling something up. You have no idea what they're pulling up. It could be anything from a like a like a like what like a like a, a piece inner of wreckage. tube or yeah. It could be wreckage. I'm like you don't you don't title your picture pulling up dead bodies when you can't see I any know. type of dead bodies in the picture, Mister Anticlimactic. You Absolutely. know what's scary is I saw the uh, the photos. Obviously, uh, there's no video of that. It's just photos. I know it's a video will surface. Still picks, but People, whoever took the still picks, amazing. It was the second after it happened, yeah. they started snapping. When you st- the amazing thing about that is like you see the piece of the plane. Oh yeah. Uh, the wind came off, and the helicopter, they, they were intact, so those people were alive when they fell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the plane uh, looked like it lost its wing, but had no other damage. But, you know, that's pretty much... That could be a problem. That's right? the damage uh, you don't want to have. I, yeah, so just... Uh, ooh. It's going to be the plane's fault in the I end. think so, yeah. You think? Absolutely, yeah. Now, now... Um, absolutely. If Because you those helicopters don't go that high. Let me tell you something, though. Y- you're right, you're right. Uh, and it was very close to the heliport. But I've seen those fucking helicopters take off like goddamn they're dusting off in in the Nam. Right. They take off. The nose goes way down, and they just come off well, that heliport, blah, and then and then yeah. uh, take well, altitude. Um, it's Liberty Tours, though. They've been doing the same pattern for years. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things, though. They do take off. A li- it looks reckless when the helicopter takes off. Right. They don't take off straight up. Look around and then kind of go. Mm. They just uh, it's a, like a, a skid fucking takeoff. Right. And I was this close to tragedy, my friends, because this is the this is the the, the helicopter tour that Jimmy oh got all panicky God, about. You are right Remember, there. I, I did one yeah. of these for my birthday, wow, and you're like, "What almost. are you doing? What are you doing?" That's the was that's that, his Twitter. This is Erock's Twitter. It says Hudson River believed to be more plane pieces. It looks like paper in the it water. Like Erock foam or. It was probably in his backyard pool. He decided to like you know throw yeah. stuff in the water and then take a close up of it. Nothing that shows scale there. Or no, anything. nothing. It's uh, <laughs> it's the worst picture ever. Iraq is <sighs> horrid when it comes to these things. But that uh, yeah, Jimmy, that's the Liberty Tours that you were like, what are you doing? Another body, best I could do. There it it is. looks There's like a picture. It looks like a, a a boat outing. Right. It just looks like an outing. He, he writes, yeah, another body, best I could do, and it's a it's a rescue boat, a couple rafts, like it looks like, right? There's nothing there that indicates hey, there's a body in the you water. You could show those that picture to a hundred people, and a hundred people would go, well, I guess it's people on a boat. They wouldn't know what they're doing, right? And he puts another body. How oh. high up were they when they actually I collided? Know. Does anybody know? Mm-hmm. I was just going to question. I was just going to throw a number out cuz I got a mic in front of me. I decided maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah. I don't know though. Can I, I would guess a couple hundred feet. The only way I could see it was the helicopter's fault is if the plane was coming and the helicopter like answered just kind of took yeah, off, it just off into took it. Off and how, smashed into it. How uh into the uh helicopter flight were they when the plane crashed? Not that very. Way, if yeah. you if you look. Oh, then it's so the plane's fault. So the plane's fault. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna. I'm. You want money on this? Plane's fault. I don't know. It's all about like opening your eyes and uh, in that well, situation. Well, they were explaining that the helicopter could have been turning this way, so now he can't see out of his right. the 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 plane was turning this way, so he can't see out of his left, and then it was just <laughs> right into each it could other. Be both. You know, it's one of these things. It's not uh, that airspace is pretty much just kind of look. Use your eyes. Mm. Watch for traffic that way. Make sure you don't hit anything. I got. There's so many planes and helicopters over the Hudson that it's just bound to happen. I got. I got a view of the Hudson River. Not. I mean, this the the plane and helicopter thing was further down the river than me. 
But I was telling you before the before the uh, show went, helicopters fly by my window every day because the corporate douches are flying home in their helicopters. It's mm-hmm. like it's amazing. One after another, like every let's call it every five minutes, you see one flying by. And then the river itself, you got the small planes using the right side of the river to, uh, to go one way. It's hard to explain, I guess. Well, if you're yeah. going up the river uh, north, you, you stay to the right. Yep. If you're coming down the river, going south, you stay to the right, going the other way. You know what I mean? Going south. Yeah, it's like so a it's highway. it's like a highway, and yep. they're really close to each other. And then way above, you see the uh, the jets flying from uh, all the different airports. Yeah, it's it's amazing how busy that uh, river is. And that dumb Chuck Schumer now wants uh, you know an investigation into the blah 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 blah. Yeah, blah, blah. now he does. Anytime really? anything happens, Schumer gets his nose in there. If you right, if you know anything about New York City and the Hudson River, you knew. Way ahead of this crash, that it was it's it's a busy place. Yeah. So why now, yeah. Chuck Schumer, that you want to take this this on? Because you want your face in the news today, is that it? Especially on such a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me say hi to John in Jersey. John. Hey, how you doing? Hey, five hundred feet. The news is saying, Jimmy. Thank you to uh, this um, whoever mm. sent that in. Uh, go ahead, John. All right. Uh, there's a right of way rule for flying, and the Vehicles with more maneuverability have less right of way than the others, so the plane would have had the right of way over a helicopter. Yeah, but the guy, the one pilot is saying, I'm reading this article in the Post or the Daily News. He's saying uh, that he was he saw the plane bearing down, really barreling down on the helicopter. He tried to warn the helicopter pilot. Um, oh, right, right, from the uh, from the uh, heliport. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, his friend, and he's like, oh, trying to warn him. No, he's really, terrible. Maybe the helicopter was a fire. I don't know. And they're not blaming anyone for the crash yet? Well, they got to blame someone eventually. You can't just, uh, right? Well, they'll figure out, yeah, what happened and say somebody fucked up. I think they both kind of fucked up. Yeah. I think they both, you know. But they're saying that the airspace has to be monitored and all. And it's almost like there's very few accidents. Bloomberg already said that ain't happening. There's because very it's few. It's unfortunate. It's very few, and we all know that you know that's a very busy area, and we need need that yeah. to kind of be a very busy area with with everything that goes on there. It, there's nothing you can do about it because it's almost like we traffic accidents happen occasionally. Yeah. I'm not, you know, it sucks, but it's going to happen. Yeah, oh. you get enough traffic in one area, that people are going to bang into each other uh, every so often. Nine people dead though. Wow, yeah. that, that was supposed to happen with the Sully thing. If nine people died on that Sully. Playing. It wouldn't have been. It like would have been a major a success. Still, yes. Yeah, still, oh, they would have said only nine people. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, this is amazing! It's a miracle on the Hudson. They would have still used miracle on the Hudson. But now, uh, you know, everybody you see that helicopter when they brought it out. Yeah, it just didn't even look like a helicopter. No, twisted. Yeah, there's not much. Uh, there's not much uh, going on there to help. You know, to to no. protect you. <laughs> no, it's, it's tin foil. Pretty much. That's what planes are. That's what aircraft are. It's tinfoil where they strengthen what they have to, and the rest is uh, left off for weight consideration. This guy, Joe, says he knows a lot about what happened. Joe? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, Joe. What's the good word? Um, Yeah, that whole space along the Hudson River there, it's called uncontrolled airspace, meaning you don't need a flight plan, anything, up to 1,100 or 1,300 feet. So anybody can fly anywhere. You just go on a certain radio frequency, and all you do is call out your position so it's not really that uh that well organized that mm. sounds just to stop you fucked up yeah it is. knowing how how many how much stuff is in the air in that area you're just taking <laughs> you're just like figuring it out yourself what that's that information no i mean you're yeah you're flying and you just got to figure out where everybody else is on your own for the most part yeah well like the one rule in uh, uncontrolled airspace is c and b scene so you you have to tell everyone where you're at <sighs> what your altitude is your heading and it's almost like a highway, you know, where you drive on the right side if you're going northbound, left side if you're going southbound. Right. Nerve-wracking. You know? yeah, That's why it's, I tend to think this helicopter just blasted Fun off into, uh, into the, the bottom of the, the plane. Mm. I don't know. It's one of the it's in, yeah, weird situation. Well, Joe uh, said he knew a lot about this. He gave us one point and then hung up. That's what he does. <laughs> That's what he does now. Like, That's it. It's it for you. I'm not doing anything else. A gun found on an inmate in the Harris County Jail. Tonight, Uh-oh. the Sheriff's Department says the inmate actually told them he was packing heat after being behind bars for hours. How did he hide the weapon? 
You know, we asked him personally and he wouldn't say, but we're told it was actually hidden between layers of his skin. This is. So then he, then you, you do know. Yeah. Layers of, how does. You gotta be a fat fuck. Nobody went to put their hand under fat rolls. Yeah. You wanna yeah, search no. through a man's fat rolls when he's getting locked up? <laughs> Skin. This is 25-year-old George Vera. We found him at home out on bond after Houston police confirmed that he was able to hide a weapon for more than a day while in custody. Obviously, uh, the system broke down and the procedures didn't work as, as they're designed to work. Police tell us Vera was arrested August 2nd by Houston police officers and taken to the city jail. He spent oh, yeah. a day there before being transferred to the Harris County Jail. After being there for 14 hours going through the intake procedures, he's taken to the showers, the final step before going to his cell. There, Vera tells police he has a weapon. If a person has a weapon or narcotics or anything of danger on them, they should be found before he ends up in the county jail. Now we're talking about a gun that would be about this size along with not one but two magazines going through potentially three searches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two magazines. The shower also. he do would probably fuck him up, though. But yeah, he should have left maybe. it in the back of a police car, so he should have just left it in his cell. How much did he weigh? I don't know. 600 pounds. 140. 600. <laughs> Jesus. 140. Under his bag. <laughs> yeah, it was all cocked. Got giant kid. balls. <laughs> wow. The officer may not have encountered someone this large. See, Vera weighs nearly 600 oh, pounds, and the gun was allegedly hidden between layers. Houston Police Officers Union President Gary Blankenship says cadets are trained how to search morbidly obese people. We teach the officers to lift up and look under, and if it's there, it needs to be searched. But he says clearly that system does not always work. You know, they can be so big that just basically short of strip searching the person and doing cavity searches, you could miss something like this. Now, both Houston Police and the Harris County Sheriff's Office are doing internal investigations to figure out how this could have happened. Blankenship says they also need to look at changing the way they actually train the officers to search the morbidly obese, possibly also adding handheld metal detectors. Of course. The morbidly obese. <laughs> <laughs> when do you get uh, morbid? When do you get morbidly obese? What number? I don't know. There's a line mm. between, like, you're obese... And then you just step over a line, and it just goes into morbidity. What's the actual <laughs> definition of morbidly yeah. obese? <laughs> I don't know. I want to know now. <laughs> What's the number? Rock. What's the number? <laughs> he rocks. <laughs> he rock. Is it, He's not morbidly obese. He's his, just obese. His tweets about the fucking plane and helicopter drove oh, me no. nuts. He's terrible. The worst reporter ever. He was <laughs> right there. What the fuck? He's fucking horrendous with his fucking bra marks. Can we read breasts. some of his? <laughs> can we read some of his tweets from the the big weekend as uh, as the big? Oh reporter? yeah, he he really thought just, people were just going to be glued to he, his tweets. He lives uh, on the Hudson River on the other side in in Jersey, and this thing happened pretty much right outside his front door. Yeah. So he was able to get down in this park that was in the area immediately. He was right there on the scene. So he got excited, started tweeting like crazy. I I bought into it. and I told a lot of people to follow E Rock for breaking oh. news. Oh. And then I, I I had to turn off my Twitter. I was so embarrassed that I told people to go to E Rock. <laughs> <laughs> the one where he says, "Here's a picture of them pulling a dead body out of the yeah. water," and there was nothing in the picture. Nothing. Have, he hasn't been on the air to defend himself yet, right, Danny? No. You got some of the better tweets from the weekend? Well. I have all of them here. Uh, Start from the beginning. Yeah, he starts at 8.39 on August 8th. It was in the morning, this thing? Yeah, oh, no, I'm sorry, 9.54. 9.54 a.m. Oh, so this, was, this happened in the morning, this whole crash. I didn't know that. Okay. Was he just happened to be around? Of course he was. Fucking, what else has he got going on? <laughs> oh, he's walking down the hall slow. <laughs> he's not happy. Why, his big pink nipples heavy? <laughs> slow fade nipples. See if he's got bra, those bra marks. You see if Tracy Lords can come in. <laughs> 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 Let's see if he's got those bra marks under his. Hi, you rock. Go ahead, Danny. Anthony wants to see if you have bra marks under your breast. Uh, good for him. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I got to go for him. Well, the first tweet here says, great. Two planes collide over the Hudson between Hoboken and NYC. Uh, I'm not making it home anytime soon. Oh, Where were poor you? E-Rod. In the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was on the belt going to the battery tunnel. So why wouldn't you be home soon? Exactly. Where do you live in the Hudson? Because I just turned on the radio and they they said that it happened, so I didn't know how long ago that it happened. Where were you going at that hour? Well, what, and, I was coming back into the. And city. how yeah. is, uh, is something crashing in the Hudson going to affect yeah. you? On the, the LIA. 
Why wouldn't you get home anytime soon when you're going to Manhattan from the east? Because they point? said Hoboken, and you come out of the tunnel right at Hoboken, right. right? So it's a tunnel, though. It's under, you know, it's under yeah, the exactly. Action. Yeah, it's underneath. The How much underneath fa- everything? I'm not going to be home it's anytime soon. Best, it's probably the best place to be. Yeah, yeah. So Where'd not you think you were because you don't have like rubberneckers and stuff. You're in a tunnel underneath the action. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Back more, to more tweets? Yeah. We had these Go ahead. Well, about <laughs> nine minutes later, correction, plane and helicopter. Ah. So I should be home on time. See, because that makes no sense, too. <laughs> well, 30 minutes later, he made it because it says, came through the battery. West Side is flooded with media and emergency. Picks soon. Ah, uh, now everybody's going, all, all right. right. Fuck the news. I got a guy on the scene. I got E-Rock that's Radio. Be twittering pics. And this right. is why E-Rock's not going to make it home on time, because you were going to stop and take photographs. Right. Well, he did make it home, because 11.16 a.m., <laughs> watching it from Hoboken now. Can't find my damn camera. Uh-oh. Why would you be able to? What happened to your camera? I left it at my brother's house. Don't you have a camera on your phone? Yeah, but that's what I took all those shitty photos There's a fucking with. helicopter crash, and you the one time you don't have your camera. I know. <laughs> You're a fool. You're a fool. <laughs> well, we can continue. All, all right. right. Plane slash copter crash. So now we're just getting the recap in case you've been missing these yeah, yeah, yeah. tweets. Okay. Emergency on West Side Highway. Close as I could get. And then there's a, a, a link to a picture. All right. What does the picture look like? Let's take a look. It's Be a on- hot dog. Be honest, Dan. <laughs> Be honest. Well... It's fire trucks. <laughs> and a car or two. Mm-hmm. It's really very uneventful. <laughs> it looks Posturous, like. Uh, it looks like. Get over there. They closed it off. It looks like. Women, they you're a, a reporter. You took a picture of a fucking trees and fire trucks. Fire trucks. It was a water problem. How old are you, seven? It looks like the you Green Lawn <laughs> Fireman's right. Fair. You should have at least got a boat in the water somewhere. <laughs> I, I wasn't it's, near the water yet. It looks like a St. Patrick's Day parade <laughs> That's in Florida. That's a St. Patrick's Day parade. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell if this is New York. It looks like That's it from the Florida. battery up to, to like All right, 30 right. on the West Side Highway. All right. So Can't got, blame them from right. one, for one bad picture. Get a picture going, of some Danny. trucks, fire trucks. So it's setting up. Yeah, mm. it, it, you know it's got to set <laughs> up to the big one. Uh oh, what? I wish I was following Iraq at twelve twelve p.m. Oh shit! Because wait. they just pulled a body out. All I saw was Tanner Beige, no idea, man or woman. But here's a pic. Oh, here's a pic of a body. Pic. This has got to be gross. Did you <laughs> oh, put a warning? Did you put a warning? Fuck. Let me see. Look oh, at nice. all that water. Wait, wait, wait. Take off that postcard of the Hudson River. I want to see Iraq's yeah. body picture. Where's the body? You, could, E-Rock, act, you could see the body. The phone didn't really capture it, Where's but you saw body? it as they Where pulled it out of the water. Point it out with your finger. Where, Where is, is it? Dead body? Wait, wait here. Ex- Jimmy, explain the picture we're looking at before he tries to it's point ju- out the body. It's, it's 80% lake. There's three small ships and buildings in the back. It's a fucking postcard. It's a majestic postcard. It should, it, yeah. Three it's boats a, on the Hudson River with buildings in the back. Greetings. Yeah. All right, where's the body? That was a great Great Jimmy, from the he, Hubble. Where's he pointing? At, at this Somewhere point, near ship number one. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't be unclearer. At this point, the body was just lifted off this little black boat right to the end of the police oh, boat. Oh, good. Right so he's there. on the boat. So we're supposed to be able to see over right. the ledge. And on the, can you, Danny, can you blow that picture up? Could you yeah, pull it let over? Me, let me, I know with uh, Posturous photos, you click on them and they get bigger. So let's. Yeah. E-Rock. There we go. Nice and blowed up there. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, there oh, it is. The, oh, that's Fred. I know who he is. What the fuck is the he lived in Schenectady. I still don't know. <laughs> By the way, because uh, it's at the end of the show, we let the uh, the camera jokes go, but boy, the listeners certainly have it. Oh. You want a few of these? Sure. All right. Uh, did you <laughs> did you search your fat rolls for the camera? <laughs> Too many people to give credit on that one. Oh, that shit. is the joke coming in right now. Oh, shit. Uh, and then someone, dog shit sniffer, suggesting, Iraq, keep your car in your fridge. You'll never lose it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's as close as we can get. All right. Back to. That's blown it, up 200,000 times, and I still can't see anything. That looks like say. spring break Where's on the Lake dead body, Iraq? How the fuck? Was I supposed to show the body with a zoom on a camera phone? But and you, how about you say I don't have a picture yeah, of the exactly. body? Yeah, yeah. Like, don't you understand the problem? You go, wow, they're pulling a dead body out of the huts, and then you and and then there's a link to a picture. We expect dead body. Did well, you like, look at the picture before you wrote the post? Yes. No. Say here's one. No. I'm busy. I'm watching it's them like, pull here's a body, a body out. Let me just randomly hit a picture of boats. They pull the first body out. They drag Where? it up. We don't know still. It's right. 
There, Somewhere in that black there's blob no there. There's no indication. Oh, you, you mean uh, Atari basketball that you're pointing to? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look how pixelated it is. I love how he got really mad. He goes, it's right, and then realized himself, oh, yeah, there's just, just garbage there. That could be anything. All right, any more tweets there, Dave? Oh, there's plenty of tweets. Swamp gas. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, in the same minute, there's a lot of tweets happening. Wow. Same, same minute. minute. Some press stuff. Black box was retrieved. Yeah, the mayor just showed up. And another photo. Oh. oh, it must be the black box. What's the photo of? Of the black box? Is the that first Bloomberg? press conference right, they're holding there. That's a press conference. Is that Bloomberg? No. Now, why would it be? <laughs> what mayor is it? Just a guy, a bunch of people look at him. The acting mayor of Hoboken. <laughs> oh, wow. That's just like it. <laughs> mayor Bloomberg. Bloomberg, yeah. Jesus. The Fucking... acting mayor of Hoboken. He's the acting mayor. Exactly. The girl in the blue right there. We don't even know who it is. Wait, that's the acting mayor? <laughs> yeah, the, the original mayor got arrested. Yeah, with that. Oh, right, with that whole thing that, that was going on. Sting Dawn operation. Zimmer, I think her name is. No, is no she? one cares. All right, I can't say. I already right. forgot her name. It's amazing. They one state over. No one knows Dawn Zimmer. No. Nah. Yeah. Why would we? <laughs> and then the governor showed up a little bit. Yeah. Do you got a picture of that? I tried to get a picture with him. Did yeah, I've got pic- one already. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have a picture of him? No, the security said no and to get away. No so. photos of him? No. Uh, no photos with him. Oh, well, yeah, right. of course. Wow. Any other tweets there, Danny? Of course. Okay. There's been a fucking aircraft disaster, and you want to do a photo shoot with the governor. Yep. Hey, could Corazon throw up a gang sign for me? <laughs> 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 well, this one just says, search and rescue on the Hudson. Cool. It's, this ah, must be a really intense there's a picture photo. too. So yeah, oh, I want right. to see this of nothing that resembles search and rescue. It's a dock and more water, but <laughs> it's farther away. Good thing you backed up to take this one. It's the Staten Island Ferry. It's that is you can the get. same thing. It's just a postcard again. What? Is photo <laughs> you can get that picture any day of the week. You know that, right? Oh, you take two pictures. Did you take binoculars, <laughs> turn them backwards, and then put the lens against it? Oh, this one's a lot How far can you go with an iPhone Look or at, a BlackBerry? Apparently not more than three miles, which is what you tried. <laughs> Why are you getting mad that we're pointing out your shitty pictures? No, I know they're shitty, but I mean, I couldn't get any closer to it, so I just described what everybody else was seeing. Here's what we're saying is... I could go out right now and take that picture. There's mm-hmm. constantly police boats on the river. Sure. There's nothing happening there. That's when they were they were pulling up bodies. <laughs> All right. They weren't pulling up Daddy, bodies. We we got to be done with the tweets from E Rock Radio. What are right? you crazy? No. <laughs> All right. Well, here there's no picture on this one. But oh, this says, oh no. Hold on, Bird from Buffalo. I bet E Rock's lunch is in a black box. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. E-Rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, he's very informative. They're getting in position to attempt to raise the helicopter. Oh. Just overheard that uh, there, they are, yeah, could be someone still in helicopter, <laughs> unsure. Well, well, the odds are pretty good. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, you I need guess. to you need to learn which there is is the proper. Thing. Yeah. Well, if he put fast, what, what, if he put did he put T H E I R? No, he put T H E Y apostrophe R E. For what they are for. There could the, be someone still in helicopter. So they are could be someone in helicopter. <laughs> they yeah, are. I typed it wrong. All right. They are someone. Could be. They are is. Uh, I'm not allowed to comment. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> well, well, I may have a problem with a few of those words. Now. <laughs> there is uh, that T O and T O O. Oof. T- That's a really? T O O is also. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's all. Sometimes it just feels good to do it. Two is go to hell. I go never, to hell. I never make those mistakes with there or two. No, you're very, never. Jimmy's very smart. In high school, I was voted boy least likely to mix up twos or theirs. <laughs> sort of niche. Sure was. They wouldn't put it in the yearbook. You got another tweet? Because <laughs> I mixed up cunt oh. with girlfriend a lot. <laughs> yes, Danny. Uh, well, on the instant feedback, Sea Rock in Ottawa says search and rescue for E Rock. It would be to find his penis under those rules. <laughs> anyway, uh, so. But back to the Iraq tweets. Um, some lady observer just told Fox News, quote, this probably isn't as big an operation as the last crash because because B people survived last time. WTF. You should proofread these things before you hit yeah. that button. Uh, what right. is he trying to say? I don't yeah. know. No, the lady was saying that this was a lady. Rep- what did you say? Lady spokesman? No, lady the lady observer. spoke to some reporter lady. saying that. This uh, wasn't it probably isn't as big a deal because on the last one there were survivors. There wasn't survivors on this one. Oh, so it's not okay. that big a deal. Mm. It's old hat to her. Mm. Oh, this is going to be a good fucking photo. All, All right. right. What this is going to be? Oh, cool. Be awesome. Another body, best I could do. Holy oh, shit. shit. Now this is the best he can do. So this, got, this has to be good. 
Another body. Turn it slow because I, I get grossed out. Yeah, they had a floating stretcher and everything for the second Let body. me say. Let's, sure? let's see. Yeah. How can you see from here? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, he rocks. What the fuck? It's the same picture as the he first rocks. one. It's the same. I cannot tell the difference between that picture and the yes, first you can. one. Where's the caption the tells you the difference. No. Right oh, there. Where's okay. the dead body in this picture? The dead body is being pulled up on this boat right there. They laid out this floating stretcher thing that they lay the body on and then pull it up. Which, which four pixels represent the body? Yeah. <laughs> Those four right there. That is... This is the worst reporting on a fucking plane crash ever. Your reporting really is a disappointment. <laughs> really? The pictures are terrible. They're terrible. Ten minutes into it now. They're fucking right terrible. All right. Well, you can point all you want. Yeah, still it's can't there. See it. All right. We'll we'll take your word it's for there. it. It's there. Any other, Danny? You didn't see the arms like you saw in the first body. I didn't oh. see the arms <laughs> in, in any of them. Any arms? So the, the the hull of the ship. <laughs> Well, there's more tweets if you guys oh, want. Oh, yeah. Well, well, this one says, they're, found, they're finding slash found parts of the plane on Sinatra Drive, a tire and a small part of the landing gear. Did you see this? Yeah. Let's see a picture. No picture. Why would there why, be? Why, <laughs> why not? If you, you saw, saw it. You saw it, but you didn't get I a picture. I couldn't get close enough to get nah, a photo of of course, that but one. your eyes oh. could catch it. Not like the other no, ones. There, where there you were better photos close. online, so I didn't bother. Right. Yeah, why do Unlike it for your boats? followers? Well, two minutes later... Because I guess everybody got bored of the landing gear tweet. Uh, is there a trend for this crash on Twitter? What should I be posting? Oh. Someone send me the number sign. Somebody was yeah. sending me messages like, you should be putting this in a trend. So I didn't know what the trend was. Oh, wow. Shit. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> apparently the trend was to post worthless things. <laughs> so then he trends Hudson uh -huh. River. More plane pieces washing up in Hoboken. No, no pictures? No, no picture. Not why. Why would there be? Oh, there's supposed to be. Nope. 20 minutes later, there is, I think the NJ governor just showed up. Oh. No pictures. No. No, you don't want the governor or the plane parts. Get the fucking lady from Hoboken. No, there was photos the of lady. Those. Yes, lady spokesman and the eight mile no. away fucking <laughs> ships. <laughs> fucking... It was a lady observer, James. Uh, closing the park now. My guess, they're bringing bodies this way. Or oh. wreckage. Why are you guessing? Because that's what the cops were saying. That's why they wanted you out of the park. <laughs> oh, oh. Why would they bring the bodies to the park? Because they found uh, one of them was closer to Hoboken than towards New York City, so they were going to use that park area. Why wouldn't they just bring it to the like hospital morgue? Or the... I don't know. The FBI showed up, and the cops just moved everyone out. If... The FBI is right here, a fucking blithering idiot. <laughs> 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 that's pretty good, though, Iraq. You shouldn't throw his gum. That was pretty brilliant. Off the cuff stuff right there. Fucking <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, oh, are we done, Dan? No. Oh, oh please say Jesus. we are. Yes. Well, this uh, one's two minutes later from the last one. Ugh. 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 Posterous or posterous, whatever. Is slow posting photos. More are coming. To know when they'll show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they showed up later up here. Well, then after that, it's okay. Overhearing that they're using, using spelled U-S-E. ING. Huh. Hoboken side to maybe pull the helicopter later. Mm -hmm. No pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, later on, park is closed. This is my favorite one, I think. Police sectioning off entire park. Some media being allowed to stay on park's edge. Serious XM business card doesn't cut it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Yeah. What would you even do there if they let you stay? I, I did. I wound up sneaking in, but I was just hanging out watching everything. Uh, but what is your, like, why do you feel that you needed to be connected to this in some way? I yeah. don't. I had nothing else to do. It was right there, so you I just hung out. Yeah, I don't blame know. him that he was right there. We all know Iraq loves I just, tragedy. I blame him for not getting any good photos. Okay, I picked up someone's cable oh, yeah. and walked where the media is. I'm allowed to stay, comma, I'm helping. <laughs> I picked up uh, some of the cable for WNBC4, and yeah. I just kind of walked in with them. Mm -hmm. Nobody said anything, so I stayed. Nice. We're not this is riveting. Anymore, oh, there's plenty more. All right, I think you get the point. There's plenty. It's we still have at least 15 to 20 tweets left. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah. I'll go through it quick if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Fox News reporter annoyed she has to keep retaking black, so I guess he was photographing some reporter. Here, uh, NJ Governor... Let's see what the photo is there. Oh, there you go. No, she was annoyed. I like that tweet. She was oh, annoyed because her hair was in the way or something. Yeah, she had to she keep retaking. Yeah, because her hair was blowing in her face. Right. 
And then she was adjusting her underwear from the front later on. Oh, good. Everybody was just watching her. I see her. More twat huggers. This one says, believed to be more plain pieces. This is what the cops said, and this is why they closed the... It's either these that pieces or, started uh, rub. Or <laughs> discard, discarded <laughs> Quiznos wrappers. You yeah. make fiberglass. It's that curved. Could, that could be your toilet bowl at home. I know there's with no a couple scale. pieces of paper in it. We have no idea. Yeah, they the just scale started washing up on the rocks. There, but when so you take a picture like that, you need some kind of scale. That could be a space photo, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like Antarctica from space. Yeah, that, it's nothing like fucking plane. You need wreckage. scale in photos like that. Give me a wing picture. Something that is unbelievably bad. I should have just dove in and got a photo. with Yes, you should have. Oh, please. As the fucking thing was falling, just trying to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Cannonball to make a tsunami over on the Tox- west side. <laughs> Toxic boy from Norfolk. A uh, serious XM business card doesn't cut it. Douche chill. Oh. Are we done, Dan? No, because Eric has to take a break from you know this legitimate reporting that he's doing for to lunch. Say, <laughs> there is a lady with a cowboy hat with a mic that says, "quote NTV" in front of a camera. What network is that? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> keep it clean, folks. <laughs> He's right, keep it clean, folks. I oh, know yeah, what he meant. <laughs> Don't know if news has this already. So this is an exclusive, I guess. Oh, an E-Rock Radio oh, exclusive. Oh, wow. Hearing the helicopter people, family from Italy, the rest are shopping in NYC. Police trying to track down. Mm. Phone died. <gasps> but new battery. <sighs> ah. Rescue called off. We'll resume at 7 a.m. tomorrow for recovery from what is being said here. Mm. Where'd you find a new battery? You ran home and got it? No, I had, uh... Just happened to have a spare bo- uh, battery for your phone? No, the plug in the car. <laughs> <laughs> phone, the phone charger in the car. Right. Yeah. So this whole thing, I'm just looking here. It started at... The tweeting started at 9.54. 9.54. Now we're at 3.42. So this is a big, a big day for Eric. Six hours. Yeah. And not one helpful bit of information <laughs> Nothing. or photo. Well, Eric or asks, photo. what network is this? She's speaking jibber-jabber, so I'm guessing something <laughs> European. And then there's a photo, so let's take a look. This is oh, like goodness. your old bit, what the F. Oh, I love what the F. Yeah, there's all these. Uh, when are you bringing back what the F, you right? I, don't oh, I know. forgot about that. There's, can you all bring these back li- what the F, please? There's a lot going on in the news. It, you should be ready for a good. What was it? What, what the F? F? What was it? What was one? I forgot those. I forgot too. What the F was one. What the fuck is with yeah. pennies? Who uses them anyway? Give us one of your old what the Fs. I, for real, I don't remember. Uh, one of them was uh, <laughs> what the F. Uh, oh crap! It was or- orange drink tastes like orange, but grape. Tastes different no ma- depending on who makes it. Why doesn't I? I'm forgetting it now. It was something about those stupid little fruit drinks with the silver peel, where orange always tastes like orange no matter who makes it, but the grape and cherry always taste different. Mm, mm. I've never yeah. wanted a gun as badly as I do right now. <laughs> but it always ends with what the f. What it starts the f? what the f, then he does his what the f, and then it ends with what the f. What the mm-hmm. f? The exclamation point is what the f at the end. All right, thanks, E Rock. What? Yeah. What? What? what Fantastic! Oh, but, of course. There's probably tons but, more. I mean, there's there's more tweets. Don't you want to know how this ends? Yeah, there's nothing. Jimmy's important. leaving the studio. <laughs> he didn't even say he was leaving. Jimmy's he just got up it. and left. But they found some kind of a ring at a building near Sinatra Little League Field. <laughs> what kind of ring? I don't know. There's no picture. Wait, like a, a ring on the ground, like like a UFO ring or a ring finger, or, or like type an engagement ring. ring or something. Some ring kind of ring be... from the plane. Oh, a ring from the plane. People are packing up, Iraq. Hey, yeah. wait, this one sounds good. I think this might be the uh, the crescendo here. A last shot. Uh, two orange floats. That's the helicopter. <coughs> Where are you going? Don't you want to see it? Yeah. Dude, check this out. Check out the orange floats, dude. All right. No fucking way. Yeah, dude. There's nothing there. They're there. No. <laughs> they're, there. they're there. I saw them. They're not there. I don't know why I didn't show up there, but they're there. There's they're right in the center. There's nothing there. <laughs> There's nothing there. That's where the helicopter is, was. It's I, not. I, it's calm water. <laughs> Which there did you use, by the way? Exactly. T-H-E-R-E. Nice. They uh, are there. T-H-E-I-R. There. 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 Everybody should be following Big Duties on Twitter. I-E-S and Duties, because I have a feeling that there's going to be some major shit going on Is today. that you, Iraq? Big Duties? No. <laughs> I have a feeling there's going to be some big news outside of my house Big today. news. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. What? What happened? I don't know. I just get a bad vibe. Yeah, probably will be. You should probably follow me all day today. Is this inside shit? Oh, I shit? will. What are you no. talking about? <laughs> I, I have to go. My agent has here. birthday just, gifts for me. I could really? just see scene of where there was a big car wreck here, <laughs> Quiet Street. Oh, I see. see ah. Take care, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All, all right. right, Jimmy. See you tomorrow. Wow, Iraq, no, that was that was good. That was riveting. I, I job, wasn't Eric. following, which yep. sucks. Ending the show strong. Yeah, All good. that's what we always achieve sure. and um, or try to achieve. And uh, failed miserably today. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, worst of the week content. This is great. Oh, good you think stuff. this is going to make... Uh, oh, yeah, this will be top five. Saturday? Mm-hmm. Nice. <sighs> oh, hold on, i got to unplug Urgh. this. Ah, let me get this plug. There we go. Oh, my God. Stop touching my stuff. Right there. Hey, you're tearing my card. Two orange floats. Orange floats. That's what you had for fucking lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be delicious. Did the orange taste like orange? <laughs> yes, it did. Were they grape floats next to it? But they're always different. Cherry floats taste different. See, it all relates. <laughs> it all relates. It all, all right. works around. It all goes back to food. <laughs> Can we go home now? Yes. Yeah, let's get the fuck let's out of here, man. I got I got a pool to swim in. <laughs> yeah, and has a pool. I have to swim in. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I obviously don't have a pool to swim in. Yes, you do. No, I you don't. got an open invite. Oh, no, I don't. Hey. For you, the door is open. Ooh. Actually, for, for everybody, everybody, it is. Open. Because I'm having a new <laughs> oh. door put in. <laughs> <laughs> I actually felt good about myself for a second. Now That's anyone can just anyone walk, in. walk in your front door today. Exactly. Oops. It's the only day you tell me I got an open door. <laughs> open door Everybody. policy at my house. <laughs> All right, guys. It was fun for a Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, last we left you, um, E-Rock was tweeting his ass off about the plane helicopter crash over the Hudson. He was a oh, yeah. he was an eyewitness reporter. He was an eye reporter. You could call him that. I call him a buffoon. <laughs> CNN has eye reporters now. Eye reporters? Is that what it is? You can you sign up to be an eye reporter, and then like if you see news happening, you take pictures, and then you send it to CNN, and then sometimes they use your stuff. He would be dropped so quickly as, as an, an eye, eye reporter. reporter. <laughs> oh, with, it's a mouth reporter. <laughs> I guess we got an update. We were busting his ball so bad yesterday because he was, he was tweeting all sorts of pictures of supposed dead bodies and... Yeah. And uh, parts of the plane. Like, and you'd read one of his Twitters, and it's like, wow. Another, another body coming out of the water. And you're like, what the? F- All right, let me let me check this out. And you click on it, and uh, there's a boat a mile away from his camera <laughs> in the water. That's all you see. It looked like it did. It looked like a, a postcard. Yeah. Well, we busted his ball so bad that um, E-Rock took down all his tweets about the... Airplane helicopter yeah. crash over the Hudson River. He deleted all of his tweets about that because he got ragged so badly. Uh, I, I think he really believed that he was getting some good pictures until we had to point him out that they were horrible. But why? Why get rid of them? I mean, that makes that brings more attention to it. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Danny's responses, his yeah. little pictures. Danny was playing um, Iraq yesterday. Yeah, I don't know if you're a follower of mine. I, I've, I've started to tweet. Uh, big duties, huh? <laughs> yes. you know, don't you know it? <laughs> and it's with an IES duties. Right. So I just, you know, I, I, I had a big day yesterday, and so I decided to share my big day with everybody, and so, you know, I tweeted. What were some of the tweets that you did in honor of, like, how E-Rock tweets? Well, it all started uh, when I was leaving the building. I saw this. Uh, this is called, Holy Crap, Look at This Douchebag. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Holy crap, look at this douchebag. And it's a picture from the 36th floor <laughs> looking down onto the streets of New York City. You wild. can barely even make out humans. Here's a, here's the mega celebrity sighting here at Sirius XM. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just an, a hallway. Who, uh, which person is supposed to be this the celebrity? Guy right there? <laughs> way, what's, what's wrong with way, you? way down at the end of the hallway. <laughs> you better get that Unrecognizable. LASIK. You better get that LASIK checked out. <laughs> this is total and, uh, friggin' E Rock ish. Yeah, you know, then uh, I was pissed off about what Bloomberg did to Times Square, so I took a pic so I could share it with everybody. Sure, let's and see just, that. Uh, poke that picture one up of there. a Times wow, Square. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's an amazing picture of Times Square, Danny. It's through a gap between two buildings that you can barely even see through. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, 
on the way home, I was passing through City Field and noticed a big to do. So I snapped a pic of, of all the action that was yeah. going down. Oh, <laughs> wow. It's a, an outdoor shot of City Field as you're driving by 60, 70 most miles that, an hour. Most of that picture is fucking the car windshield <laughs> and like the thing that divides the windshield and the passenger and side the window. Door. It's covering up Part the entire of the roof. <laughs> That's a terrible photo. Of course it is. And then, uh,. I noticed that there was a lot of air traffic yesterday, and I I thought I saw something. Uh, it looked like a problem with landing gear on a plane. Uh oh! So it, it, it worried me. I don't. <laughs> was this in the paper at all today? <laughs> Bunch of trees and a sky. I can't even it's, see the no, plane. It's right there. Oh, it's let there. Let me blow it up for you. Right, Wait, yeah, hang please. on. Let me just blow it up. Please blow yeah. up the picture. Because it oh, is it's there. there, and you could totally see that there's something going it's, on. Uh, something was. Iraq go- comment. <laughs> Not my photo. Not my photos. Look. look, look, see, there's the Where's plane. Where's the plane? Where look, look, it's right you? there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's dot. All right, whatever. What, ha- what happened, Iraq? Iraq, what happened yesterday? You took that very seriously? Were you bummed that we weren't Why'd impressed you take with, your, down your, with uh, your pictures from the plane? No, it was the, all the, of your posts. It was about. the constant flood of direct messaging that I was getting, so I was like, all right, fuck this. So, so you I took started, down I, I, every I, single one of your, your big why? story that was, that was a big Twitters. day for you. Yeah. You were the on-the-scene reporter. Why'd you take them all down? Because they were shit photos. You couldn't tell at the time when you were taking them on the camera. <laughs> He's fessing up that they were shit And you, are, <laughs> you, you break really easily. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> you really do. Yesterday is like, come on, this, you could see this here. And oh, today it's like, they were shit photos. At first it's like, there's too much direct messaging. And then it's like, well, all right, look, they were just bad photos. Okay. <laughs> but I love how he said that he couldn't tell when he was taking them at the time, but you couldn't tell when you had them up either. <laughs> yeah, you had a look it, it at took them. You, well, what, over 24 hours to finally get rid of all of them? So, make good content for the show, dude. Oh, it? absolutely. There dude. you go. Oh, that's it. But we're bummed that you took it all down. I'm, I'm bummed that you took down my favorite, which was the debris in the water, <laughs> which looked like <laughs> some styrofoam cups. <laughs> it looked like a plastic bag on a pool cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was no scale to the picture, so we couldn't no, really tell no, what it was. No, tell what it was. It could have been an iceberg or, yeah, a piece of styrofoam... A, a styrofoam packing peanut you guys <laughs> or an iceberg. You guys want to see my, my UFO picture? Oh, oh yeah, please. Yeah. Big duty. This was a big on one. Twitter. Check that out. Wow. <laughs> it says the Look, fucking nuts, right? Look, you can kind of see. Well, through the, I guess it's through the tree somehow. There's a UFO in there yeah, somewhere. It must have just darted It's off. like, where's Waldo? You got to kind of figure out where Waldo is in well, Danny's just pictures. Just spectacular. I mean, Danny doing the pictures like E-Rock does the pictures. <laughs> you should have taken them down. We had a whole nother day planned. I know. What are you doing? You should have left them up. Yeah. Are you bummed, E-Rock, that huh? we weren't impressed? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, what it was. Uh, no. When I got home after they were posted and stuff, yeah. I looked at them and I went, oh, my God. They, they looked a lot worse than the, on the little screen of the, of the phone. <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, an right, iPhone. they're already up there. If I took them down, I figured it'd draw more attention, so I figured I'd leave them up. Mm-hmm. It served its purpose. Now they're gone. Well, taking them down did uh, bring more attention to it. Yeah, yeah you should have just left it alone. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, because you wouldn't have very... talked about it again today. Exactly. Well, perhaps. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, let's go to Tony in Brooklyn. Tony, what's going on? Oh, E-Rock, how fast five years have gone by. Buddy, do you see the career dissipation light blinking in the corner of your eye, buddy? <laughs> you become the, you become the I smell duty guy on the show. You used to sit at the right, you used to sit at the right hand of OB, and now you're just Pat Duffy, you're Pat right Duffy right too. That's all you are, uh, buddy. Oh, Pat Duffy too. Punch it out. All right. Oh, wow. How quickly today. Yeah. Wow, it's not even, you know. Uh, barely started the show and you're in the uh, barrel. Yeah, let's go to Joe in Minnesota. Or hey, good morning, boys. Yeah, all right, Joe, Minnesota. What's up? Yeah, any rocks defense. I bragged to all my buddies when I went back to L.A. that I was going to come back with a picture of somebody mean and somebody famous. Went to the, got to the airport on the way back and there's Pat Morita. So I sit down next to him I'm like, "How you doing, Pat?" And he buys me a drink. I handed the bartender my camera. I'm like, "Pat, I just got to get a picture of somebody famous." So he took the picture. I get back to the cities here. I get everything d- developed. I get to work, and I'm showing everybody. I'm like, check it out, check it out. Here it comes Pat Morita on me. No, it's an outline of two people, me and Pat Morita. So forever I got teased about, oh, look, here, it's me and uh, the Queen of England. Oh, but you can't see us. Oh, what, was so the know, window behind you or something bright? No, well, it was just, it was a dark bar, and we didn't use oh. a flash. Oh, God. <laughs> what year was this? And now Pat Morita's dead. What year oh, is this it? Was back, 
this is a 2000 and probably two. Oh, okay. So, so you, you have, I hope you have a digital now. Dude, there's, there's really? nothing worse. There's, <laughs> there's nothing worse than a celebrity picture that doesn't come out. I had a big one not come out. My fucking uh, Charlton Heston. Yeah. It came out ah, blurry. You could see that it's him, though, but it was really Chuck blurry. Chuck Heston. And, and yeah. this is before digital cameras, because now you could check and, and maybe you got a second shot at it. But the the old days, you took the picture and you you had to go get the film developed, hoping for the best, and you get them back and like, oh, yeah, fuck. you had no clue, no clue. One more for safety. Yeah, you didn't do. The, I don't know. You didn't I... do the safety shot. Safety shot's the stupidest thing ever because you're, you're doing the exact same shot just yeah, twice. same picture twice. So how are you going to get two different pictures out of that scenario? On, on digital, it's fine. You just delete it. But uh, on on the old cameras, right? Yet. You had to do that because if it was an important picture you, you, and one didn't come out. Right. Eh. Oh, well. All right, E-Rock. Uh, John and George is on the phone. He just wants to call E-Rock a fat pig. I mean, that's oh, just... Okay. You guys get not... E-Rock in here. Oh, why not? <laughs> can we get E-Rock? Does he know? Yeah, let's get him in here. I think that this, just tell this call have... should be heard. <laughs> just tell me we have one more phone call. <laughs> you rock that doesn't look happy. Ahead, no, it's just a, oh, what's the matter? Oh. <laughs> Eric does not want to come in here. Why? Uh, John and Georgia, you get, we brought E Rock all the way back from way down the hall. He's in the office, really busy working on something very important for the show that you guys will never know that he was responsible for. Yes. So, John, what do you got? Hey, E Rock. Yeah, I, go I just ahead. Wanted to let you know you're a fat pig. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. <laughs> Play the little Nikki stuff when you get a chance. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> holy, holy shit, he's so pissed off. Oh, my God, is he pissed. Look at him now trudging down the hall. Now he's got to do the walk of shame that we can watch for 20 minutes. Ah, uh, now Sam's just abusing him down to the end of the hallway. Now he goes and gets abused by Sam. Oh, if he doesn't come in shooting one day. It's not even fair. He was wow. He was hard at work, really trying to do something for the show. Yeah, something yeah. we'll probably play later. It'll, it'll go over real well. You'll never know. E Rock gave it to us. Never know it was him. And we interrupted him. So. He had to come all the way down to be called a fat pig by a listener. <laughs> and now he walks back to <laughs> the office. Ah, uh, all right. Poor guy. What do you got, Striker? Yeah, in defense of E Rock, I noticed Opie did the douchey. That could have been me on the helicopter because I was there two years ago with my chick. Striker, how long have you been listening to this show? For real. Come on, Striker. Too goddamn long. You don't understand a little sarcasm? Well, yes, I do. But how many times does Opie call out Joe Citizen? For making the exact same comment. Exactly. No, I don't. I, you get yeah, it? I did it as a complete joke because oh every time God. there is a tragedy, people try to like relate to it well, in somehow, in some way. Citizen calling Opie out for the same thing. I'm all, It's the exact same thing. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the God's honest truth, and and this is still not close enough to the tragedy. But I have a niece up from Florida, and I was thinking, you know, a few years ago, I took that nice little helicopter tour. And I, I was just thinking, maybe I'll, uh, you know, take her up in a helicopter and do that Yikes. tour. But never booked it, none of that. But it was in my mind for the first time in a few years. Wow. I'm never going on one of those fucking helicopter tours again. Well, you're probably safe for a while now. Well, yeah. the NYPD wants to take me up in a, in a chopper. One. Which I'm is, sure that one's fine. And they say that that's way better than any tour that, that yeah. Liberty could do for you anyway. Oh, forget it. They'll be I want to hang off the, the uh, Thank you, Stryker. Yeah, All right, brother. Hang off the pontoon. Is that what it's called? Or the pylon. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah. That'd yeah. be cool. Just hold on to what, it. What does Colin Quinn say about the... What was his big line about 9-11? Cause Probably. That's, <laughs> what, what was... <laughs> <laughs> it was a classic line <laughs> about... about oh, he said uh, people tried to... Bar- like, he goes... He goes, people were like, you know, something told me not to go down there that day. Uh, yeah, the news. The news told you. <laughs> <laughs> and he, what did he say? Uh, you know, I was going to take, uh, I just think, you know, if I would have taken that number two train, well, do you take the two train off it? No, I've never taken the two train in my life. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that, and oh, something about how I live up in Utica, where I, where I fucking yeah, operate yeah, the go karts where kids throw five alive cans at me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Some very funny bit, which I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Some, something told me not to go down yeah, there. The news. Yeah, the news. The news. <laughs> oh, that's great. A lot of people do that, though. You're kind of trying to attach yourself to these tragedies. <laughs> did they get all the bodies out of the Hudson? No, nope, one left. Did. One left? Yeah. One left in. They couldn't get him. They couldn't extricate him from the wreckage. What wreckage is down there still? 
Did they the pull plane? Oh, they got the chopper out though, right? Yeah. I, no, it's weird. It's business as usual in this city. Yeah. You, you can't even tell that there was a massive tragedy over the Hudson River no. a mere what two days ago, it three just, days ago. It just moves on. They just hose down the area, even yep. though it's water. That's it. And and it's back to business. There's a dead guy down there. There's a dead guy right at the, the bottom of the Hudson right Leave now in a, in a plane. Why do we, Why do we have to like? I don't know. Why well, do we maybe have to? Maybe the re- family wants him. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the greatest one ever was the <clears throat> JFK Jr. Oh, you forgot that, about that oh, one too. Yeah, yeah, JFK Jr. JFK right. Jr. There, um, uh, well, that Jimmy. Kennedy family. Holy shit! And we had to find him just so we could throw him back in the water. Like, yeah, yeah. That's that's just but burial at sea. They found him so they could put him back in the water. That is just so weird. And they used Navy ships and everything that nobody would have gotten. Right. Uh, let me say hi to Steve on Long Island. Steve. Yes. Hey. hey. You, good evening. Good Hello. evening, Steve. Um, listen, I want to talk to E-Rock in his native tongue. Give him a message for me. Mm-hmm. Moo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's implying he's what? a cow. I don't think I think you should tell Iraq yourself. Today? Yeah, I mean, no, he should have told him himself. He's about to kill somebody. Do we have that? <laughs> we should, I think Iraq should hear that. Himself. I don't think we should be translating. Well, I, I hung up on the guy already. Okay. Okay. We have it taped, I'm sure, right, Travis? <laughs> I'm sure yeah. Travis has it. Someone else will call. I want, too. <laughs> I want to go on record and say I don't want to be part of that. I don't either. I just if somebody wants to tell Eric something, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not true. my business to translate. What do yeah, you say? Why should we? You know, what are you saying? Nothing. I think Iraq should be like. Look, if someone told me something, I'd are want you to... requesting that Iraq come back to the studio? It's a long walk, and I'm sure he's busy with something. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Though, <laughs> well, maybe, but you know, he really should come down and address the callers and stuff. Yeah. I think. I think if somebody calls, you know, and wants to talk to Iraq, that's I mean, fine. Yeah, I think we're only obligated to because yeah, I would yeah. want people. I don't want my messages given. Yeah, third, I would want to. I would right? want to talk. You know, yeah. to, to the uh, listener. Well, I, I'm not going to say Iraq. Come here. If, Jimmy, oh, if you oh, want. Of course I will. All right. Say it officially. Wait until there's, there's no calls for him. Hi, Pierce. I see Sam wandering around down at the end of the hall. Maybe he's trying to get Iraq to make the long walk. Well, there's no one on the phone for what? Eric. What is that computer illiterate dolt Kenny? doing out there? The way he looks at a computer <laughs> with his glasses on, he, he, he's got like, he cranes his neck. And and he hits one key and then looks at the screen again, hits another key, cranes his neck, looks at the screen with his glasses on. It's like grandpa. It's like watching grandpa. <laughs> Hi, what Kenny. You, what do you think he's thinking as he looks at that computer oh, screen? Thinking? Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, it goes for eight seconds and then he forgets it and starts over. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Kenny, what? Is- Good morning. You're uh, not too... Like sharp on those computers. It takes you a long time to type out anything. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm a whiz with two fingers, believe me. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but and you also, you, you like, you crane your neck and look <laughs> at what you just typed through your, your reading glasses, and then you look back down at the keyboard and tick one key, and then you crane your neck and look real close again. I pride myself on being precise. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, I was given a task. You're and precisely I'm, an I, ass. <laughs> are you a piece? Are you impressed at what the computer could do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I'm I mean, sorry I interrupted your work, sir. No, I, it's okay. I you got a show to do. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you All have right. like a lot of calluses on just your index finger? <laughs> and his trigger, his middle and trigger. Those are his two good fingers. <laughs> two fingers. I'm a whiz. Uh, All right. So. You know, because there's big Jim Norton show info coming. That's right. Yes. Really? Oh, oh boy. That's oh, cool. that's a little teaser. Oh, okay. Now I understand why he's taking his time typing it, because if there's one typo, there'll be hell to pay, sir. <laughs> Let's say hi to Robin in Kansas. <laughs> Robin. Hey, Opie, you guys got to lay off E-Rock. You don't want to have to deal with mad cow disease in the studio, do you? Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh, you know what? Why are you telling us this? Oh, boy. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you, what did you want to tell us this, or did you want to tell Iraq this? What, what are you getting at, Jimmy? What does she want? <laughs> Miss? Moo. He's not in. He's All not. right. Let's go, let's go to Justin in New York. Justin. Oh, uh, good evening. Hi, Hi Justin. Hi. Justin. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I wanted to ask Iraq. You said he's working on something very important. Hold on. Wait, he's not here. <laughs> Wait, just get him. Uh, the caller wants hold, to ask him a on. question. Hold on. 
Don't go anywhere. He's really uh, busy doing I know he something. Is. Yeah, go get Iraq. All right, Daddy. Hold on a walking, second. Walking, all sprinting down the long hallway to go yeah. get Iraq. I just don't want to translate for Eric. What Eric's doing is important, but yeah, yeah. I mean, this just, is a caller for just Iraq. play along at home, by the way, and 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 and, and feel how long it takes for Iraq to make it all the way down the studio. It's exercise. It's okay. All right. You all right there? Justin. What's up? Yeah, okay. okay. Hold, hold that on. It's very distracting to hear Wait that. Wait uh, I see. See, we're still Sam getting E-Rock. by the doorway. This is how long it takes for E-Rock to come oh all the way God. down the hall. I saw Sam at the door, and then I saw Danny fly out the door. And Sam as is if he sprinting was down the hall. <laughs> as if he was pushed away by E-Rock, perhaps. And Sam is now running. <laughs> and laughing. And his way into he's he's laughing his ass off now. What's up, what Sam? What just happened? <laughs> he's so pissed. <laughs> well, Danny just said, come on, man. What do you want me to do? They're asking for you. And then e said, like, you know, we're going for something. And Danny said, don't try to act like you're busy all of a sudden. <laughs> and e took a can of Pepsi that it obviously, it was open, but it had just been open. So it was like a full can, except it leaks. Yeah. And just... <laughs> Chucked it as hard as he could out of the office at Danny, and it's just, no, it's pouring out into the hall. <laughs> Should we get the really long uh, cord so so we could uh, he is get so, an interview with E Rock? He is so pissed. Why is he so angry? Upset. For what? It's, it's, All right, here it's, comes Danny. Danny's going you think he'd happen. appreciate the fact that we want him to be talk to these Danny, people? Does Danny no. have soda on him, or did he miss? He probably has soda on the leg no, area. Not happy, Iraq. Danny, what happened? Uh, Iraq's not happy. I can't imagine. <laughs> right, Eric doesn't want to come in. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> what happened though. Why is he so uptight he just, today? Is I he don't really? Know. He's taking that whole Twitter thing from yesterday seriously. Yeah, yeah. He everything too Because I think he really thought he was getting some exclusive stuff for everybody. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He had wow. visions of being the Twitter king. Like, yeah. he's on the front page of Twitter.com. Or maybe C- uh, CNN. CNN's had dragging him, him in there. with his with yeah. his t- with his Twitter pictures. Like somebody that really kept us up to date was. Eric Nagel, <laughs> and we're here now live with Eric Nagel, and then there he is just sitting and chatting. Well, I was there, and I was uh, taking pictures, and I, I know Twitter uh, reaches so many people. Yeah. Boo. His pictures were like uh, my cousin Vinny's girlfriend if they didn't win the case. It was yeah. just like, they were just, yeah. <laughs> what is this picture of fucking dog shit? Oh, that's yeah. great. <laughs> Pause attraction on the, there was positive attraction on the plane. That's why it hit the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they get tell by the. Well, the thing is that the E Rock wanted to be the interview by uh, uh, I forget what I was going to say. Larry King oh. or CNN. Oh, he wanted to be anything, yeah. but what's happening? Which is hello, <laughs> Moo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was the last thing on his list of what he wanted to happen. You think he had visions of like uh, Larry King or someone going? Do you mind sitting through the break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we really no want to like really get into more of your pictures, so, but we really got to take a commercial break. Well, uh, I... ladies and gentlemen, Twitter hero <laughs> Eric Nagel, who uh, twittered uh, the details of the helicopter plane crash like nobody uh, else. Well, uh, Larry, I was um, uh, uh, by the park, by a uh, Frank Sinatra park. And I was taking pictures. Let's get some of those pictures here up on the board. Uh, wow, what is this one? It's fascinating. That is debris in the water, Larry. Really? It looks like my last bowel movement. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think Larry would have been impressed? Not at all. <laughs> Sam, can you tell the rock that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... People on hold. The right boss now. is calling for him. He's got to come in. And yeah. I told him these are the subscribers. These are the people who pay his checks. He yes. should be valuing them a little more. It's almost like a politician. You have to answer but to the public. Tell him there's Jimmy, no saying no Jim, to this. Jimmy, okay. give, give Sam a message to give to Iraq. It's not Sam's we, we, the messenger. The right bottom now. line is this: uh, it's we need him on the show right now. It's we know he's get working your hard. Ass in here. Yeah, okay. but the people want to talk to him, and there's no there's no way of getting around it. There's okay. nothing we couldn't be helped. <laughs> By the way, this is the photo that Eric wanted to tweet. Like, he was hoping to get the Jack Ruby shooting. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how important yeah. in history. That's the tweet he wanted. We're hoping to get a photo of him like that. <laughs> clenching up in a sweater. Clenching a, a ham. Yeah, he thought he was getting the flag being raised on Iwo Jima. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all those famous shots. And what did he get? A picture of shit. Yeah, he wanted to be part of that exclusive club that got the famous see. shot. 
I don't see uh, him making his way out of the office. I also don't see Sam leaving the office. No, That's not no. Good. <laughs> Sam Sam's, is trying Sam's to probably convey. being strangled to death finally <laughs> for being a wise his ass. pencil neck is just, <laughs> just being snapped by Iraq's meaty hands. No one would be surprised. I, um... <laughs> I'm not seeing anyone come out of here now. We're we're re- really demanding mm-hmm. that he uh, he come out. There's the picture of uh, the victory in, in Times Square with the sailor kissing the the nurse. Didn't Eric take that? <laughs> That's uh, a Twitter picture that Eric took. <laughs> no, we should do is a split screen. <laughs> Like we should have the famous shot, and then <laughs> and then E Rock was there. What it would look like? <laughs> what it would look like? <laughs> I, just, I, I think he's, he's taking it very seriously. What happened? Yeah, I'm what? waiting. Here comes uh, now Sam. Sam is trying to give him a pep he's talk. He's clapping. Troy Kwan is down the end yeah, of the hallway. He just gave a thumbs up or something. <laughs> but Sam is really trying to get him out of there. He's clapping. I don't know. He's keeping a safe distance, I noticed. He's trying to get... It's it's almost as if there's a big gorilla in there eating. <laughs> and he's trying to get him out. Lure him with a banana. <laughs> Some of the phone calls I know we're not going to get to. Nick in Nebraska. Iraq is going to blow his brains out one day, and cholesterol will be everywhere. <laughs> oh, shit. People now, it'd be nice to Eric when you talk to him. Don't call up and make uh, obnoxious remarks. Yes, He's yes. in a very bad mood. Wow, he is just not coming. He'll come. Tell, tell him the guys demand he come down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm this is... This this is not a, a bit. Get no. him down here now. Yeah. yeah. It's not a bit. Of course it's not. <laughs> it's we, uh, poor guy. You know what? Eric's cranky because he fell yesterday into a hole. <laughs> 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 it's an elephant. <laughs> yeah. It's a picture of an elephant that fell in a hole. <laughs> All right, here comes he rock. Right. Jesus. All right. Here Christ. he comes. All right. He's making his way down All the right. hallway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I thought it was Paul Abdul was no, his walking this is music. Baby elephant. Yeah, I know, walk. I know. <laughs> oh my good. god, he's not gonna like this. He's not gonna be fucking he happy with that music. He will not be happy with this. Don't, don't smile. <laughs> oh, hi Iraq. Hi Iraq. Hi Eric. Oh. What were you working on down the hall? Doesn't matter. Let's get this going. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Doesn't matter. What Ah, oh boy, this just isn't good. Jimmy, why do we have E Rock back in the studio? Well, there were some callers, I think, that wanted to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said nine. <laughs> oh, there nine. Oh, are there nine? There nine? Which one do you want me to start with, E Rock? I don't know. I can't see the screen, so. Well, pick a number. How about six? Six? All right. Let's go mm-hmm. to six and say hi to Chris in Pennsylvania. Chris? Hey, uh, next time we got to call E Rock from down the hall, just yell, Sweet! Sweet! Out. Oh, that right. was number that's six. just mean, dude. Yeah. That's just mean. You want another one? Four. All right. Four. Mm-hmm. Jeff in Staten Island. Jeff. Hello. B-Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one wasn't bad. Pick another number. Uh, one. All right. Uh, Sean in North Carolina. Sean. Uh, actually, the photos were pretty good that he posted. The ones that he had to throw away where he got his hip in the photo were horrendous. So. <laughs> Iraq does not have a hoof. It's fucking terrible, dude. That's an awful, awful thing to say. Uh, go ahead. Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve on Long Island. Steve? I'm back. Hey, Iraq. When it's, when it's 2012 and the world's about to end, will your pits flood the earth? Moo. <laughs> I want to pick another number? Uh, five. Five. All right. Let's say hi to Ralph in Rhode Island. Ralph. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, Ralph. Hey, uh, E-Rock, I just want to know if uh, they properly searched you down in security today. Did you, you know, I heard you got a little rolls there. We want to make sure you're not packing. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another number? Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Paul in Jersey. Paul. Hey, Eric. I was wondering if when you go home, do you tell your problems to your pet spider, Charlotte? <laughs> oh, oh, see, that's Charlotte's web joke, I guess. Another number? Eight. All right. Eight. 
Uh, ben in North Carolina. Ben? Hey, E-Rock. <laughs> I was wondering, I think the delay in you getting to the studio was the shoot got stuck when you come out of it. <laughs> Move. Watch it out. You still have... Uh... Nine. I still have nine. <laughs> still have nine. <laughs> Scott and Tampa Scott. Hey, boys, don't be so hard on uh, Eric. I yeah. know why it took him so long to get there. He was grazing in the back pasture. <laughs> There's All right. no back there you go. pasture. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Do you want to take number two? Or not? No. But you'll hit it anyway. Go ahead. All right, we'll take three instead. Number three, Chris in Jersey. Chris? Guys, you got to ease up on Iraq. He's probably mourning. He's all sad. He lost two family members yesterday. Those whales, they died off the coast. <laughs> You're insinuating he's a whale. That's just That's, crazy. That is. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Oh, we got a guy that works for a newspaper. Adam in Newark. Adam? Yeah, hi, this is Adam from the uh, Newark Associated Press. I was wondering if we could use uh, Eric Nagel's photos in an exclusive that we're doing featuring uh, random boats on unidentified bodies of water. (laughs) (laughs) Would that be possible? Uh, Iraq, you got to put your photos back up. Now they're very famous photos. They are you don't, famous. You don't understand now. how this works. They're up on uh, oarundowns.com. Oh, look All at right. that. Yeah, oarundowns.com. The debris. Yeah. See, these are very famous photos now. There's the debris. The, the, yeah. Uh, the yeah. Public domain? Uh, pretty much public domain, yes. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> He's going to use them. <laughs> Let's go to Dave in Tennessee. Dave. Yeah, I was just wondering why Iraq was taking those pictures. Where was Hoagie Boy and all this? Why wasn't he down there trying to save those poor people? Yeah, it's true. Hoagie Boy you are a superhero. You're going to thwart that whole thing. Oh, this guy wants to defend you. Uh, Keith in Atlanta. Oh, Keith? No, What's going on, <laughs> fellas, man? Hey, y'all leave Iraq alone, man. Yeah. Iraq, you the man, bro. I'm sitting here listening to this shit. I don't appreciate any of these people fucking with you, man. You do your job, handle your business, and fuck them, man. Uppy. Anthony, the Nazi, conehead ass, the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy. <laughs> the other guy is going to be yeah, on Jay Leno other. on a regular basis. What the fuck? Say, hey, I listen to the show, but I'm not going to even acknowledge the other guy. Oh, the other shit. Guy. Rock, you the man. Wow. Why are you up so early? This morning. Why are you up so early? You want to leave now, Iraq? You're right, Iraq. Are we done with this, or is there more callers? Well, we were hoping for a better reaction if you want to know the truth. I'm happy he didn't get upset. <laughs> I didn't say we wanted him to get upset, just to have a better reaction. Could you autograph this? this. <laughs> <laughs> the elephant picture. What are you crazy? He wanted him to autograph the elephant picture. <laughs> I didn't have the guts to ask why he was that's, sitting there. That's hysterical. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, he's back. I think. Is the sound on out there? Oh, Whoops. Yeah. Oh. Is the sound on out there? No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Kept the door open. Oh. Okay. Why are you coming back? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're addicted to the limelight. Yeah. We, we're going to go backstage because uh, I think the silliness started when we went after E-Rock very early in the show. <laughs> Poor Sam E-Rock. shoved the mic in his face right after he was humiliated on the air. Oh, he did. And did a little backstage. And this one's titled, E-Rock is Krabby. <laughs> and now, backstage with ONA. Here is Primetime Sam Roberts. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and after another dazzling performance on the Opie and Anthony show, E Rock the Sex Bagel exited the studio cursing at this reporter. I found E Rock to get things resolved between us. E Rock. What, Sam? Why did you cuss at me? You said F me. What's wrong here, E-Rock? Talk to me. Don't egg me on knowing damn well that I heard why they wanted me in the studio. And you're like, but there's a phone call. Like, I don't know why they want you in there. Why'd they want you in there? Because they want me in there to take a phone call from somebody insulting me. What'd they say? You know what they said. I wasn't listening. That's why I said, fuck you, Sam. I was doing some editing. What did the listener say? 
You'll have to pull the audio and see what the listener said. Well, okay. In the interest of fair journalism, we present to you the clip in question. Yeah, we brought Iraq all the way back from way down the hall. He's in the office, really busy, working on something very important for the show that you guys will never know that he was responsible for. Yes. So, John, what do you got? Hey, Iraq. I, yeah, go I ahead. I just to let you know you're a fat pig. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. Okay, Iraq. I pulled the audio. He called you a fat pig. That he did. What's your response? He's an asshole. <laughs> Why? I mean, he's just a listener. Yeah, fat Don't... listener. How do you know he was on the phone? Because all our listeners are fat. Why are you so bitter against our listeners? Oh, I wonder why. They pay our checks, Iraq. They're the subscribers. They're very important. Good for them. Iraq. Why? What's got you in such a bad mood today? You. Why me? I didn't even do anything. Come on. There's a phone call for you. I don't know what it is. You should go in the studio. Really, they want you to talk. Opie and Anthony asked for you. That has nothing to do with me. You knew damn well what it was. I was standing right there, and I heard what it was. And you're trying to play it off like you have no idea. I have to listen more carefully. I fucking hate you, Sam. Why? Apparently, Sex Bagel has some kind of unresolved anger issues because we have no idea where all this animosity is coming from. We will, however, stay on the case. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and this has been Backstage with ONA. Holy shit. Uh, That's pretty good. Sam is brutal. (laughs) What a dick. Uh, He is a (laughs) douchebag. Very nice.